Hi, Tim Sales here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the awareness of your prospect and that they are aware of your product, but they're not quite there. They don't quite think it's right for them. What do you do? All right, in the series, I'm talking about the prospect's awareness highway. In other words, how much do they know? How many products do they already know that are in the same category as you or maybe the business side of it as well? And so this is the prospect's awareness highway and you've got to merge onto them. So how do you have that conversation? How do you open that discussion? How do you know where to start? And that's what this entire uh, series is about. And there's three vital questions. Number one is what desire does the prospect really want? So you say, hey, uh, here's a product. I've got it for sale. But before that, you would have to know what desire do they have? What's the primary reason they want that phone? Because if you don't know that, then you may sell the wrong thing about that. Right? You think that they want the new version, um, but maybe what they really want is to look cool. I don't know. Right? It doesn't matter. They're always right. And so it's just important that you know that. How much does he or she know about your product? Okay. And then how, how many similar products have they been told before? All right. And so this establishes their awareness or sophistication level. So let's dive into this one. So they are product aware. They know of your product, but are unsure. Okay. Identify that message right there. Okay. So find in your head where you've ever talked to somebody and they were like, well, um, you know, I already use a vitamin and I'm pleased with it. Right. So they know you have a product, but they're unsure. Knowing this will determine how you approach your prospect and audience. Okay. All right. So product aware. Let's talk about them. Prospect knows what you sell, but isn't sure it's right for him. Uh, like me with Microsoft, Mac, Linux. Pain of disconnect. Okay. I know, I know that um, both of these are tracking. I know they're spyware. I know all of it, right? I like to shift over there, but there's a pain of disconnect because there's apps that I have in this and this that I can't get there. And so it's in that tug of war stage. Okay. And you, you, you must notice when your pr prospect is in the tug of war stage, right? And how to handle it. Okay. Sitting on the fence, unsure, undecided, maybe this, maybe that, skittish. Hours reading Amazon reviews or other kinds of types of reviews. They are in the buying window though. You gotta, you gotta understand that sometimes that um, people are just completely unaware and don't care what it is that you have for sale, okay? The product itself, okay? They may love you, you know, like you're their nephew or you're their whatever, but they're just not in the buying window, all right? So that window moves at different times, right? So when do you need a snow shovel? When it snows. And so as soon as you see the snow, you're suddenly in the buying window. Or let's say you lost your job. Suddenly you're in the market. You're in the buying window for a business. You need to win their trust. Don't push. Very, very vital. Remember, they're up here. They're undecided. They're tug of war. Don't push, right? It'll, it'll scare them away. You will work hard for this prospect. Trust building is vital. Don't take it personal if they don't do it, okay? Some, somebody had commented in the uh, Telegram group and they said, you know, you work all this time and you spend this, and, you know, and then they don't do anything or they, they, they say no or whatever. It's, it's so defeating. No, it's not defeating. You never had them. You didn't lose anything. 
You just work for something that they chose something else. It's okay. All right, so please. Okay, so this, I know this is short, but I'm trying to get through each one of these so that I can give you more information about how to actually uh, talk to them. All right, so your thoughts on how to serve product aware. Okay, and then comment additional examples. And so the more examples that you are able to do from week to week as my videos are released, and then other examples of them, the more acute and quick you're going to be at being able to identify these, all right? So, uh, so please comment additional examples of the product aware. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and you're welcome to join our Telegram group. I appreciate you.